four. So what a start for Australia. Wide and short, and Mark Waugh pumps on it. That was good bounce for Curtly Ambrose, but absolutely no pace at all. The ball just stood up and allowed Mark Waugh to play that shot. Got right on top of it, Mark Waugh. And what a start. Lovely shot off the leg. Whipped away for four. That's not where you bowl to Mark War. Outfield fast. Lovely pitch. Ball coming on. And the crowd already silenced there. Not advisable to even bowl balls coming into Mark War, much less balls on his leg. That ball slanted in, pitched in line with the stumps, going further down the leg side. That's food and drink to Mark War. Made all sorts of a mess of that, and they'll hurry back on a fine return from Sherman Campbell out of the deep. Almost threw it over the boundary, Sherman Campbell. And into an edge, and Perez is hosted the stump. So Ambrose, apart from the first ball of the match, really has bowled very well. Well, close call again here. Mark Ward just chopping this one on. Could have quite easily have come off his body back onto the stumps. Just hit the inside of the leg and gone the other way, luckily. Very, very close indeed, but very good bowling here from Ambrose. See that seam upright. Very hard work out there for the bowlers, but he's done a fantastic job so far. That's Mark Ward, best at four. Well, you don't hit them any better than that through square leg off a bowler of the calibre of Kirtley Ambrose. And Mark Waugh has just clipped it at 100 miles an hour. Well, how casual is this shot? Just ping. That is just superb timing. In the end, plenty of bounce. A bit more pace, a bit more bounce. And it's gone over the top of the bat. So what a comeback. Well, this is a good answer from the big quick. Look at that bounce. Mark Waugh's face. <laughs> I said, where did that come from? That's exactly right. That was a surprise. But again, that seam upright, that extra bounce there nearly did the damage. There's still one slip there, Brian Lara. A little bit lucky there. Good delivery. And again, just a little bit lazy that shot from Mark Waugh because there is a slip in place and too close to run the third man. Well, could have quite easily have chopped that down onto the stumps too. You get a better look from there, but uh, I think if you've got a touch on that, that would have went too fine. And clipped away towards fine leg. It's a fast outfield. Kenny Bryan does well in the back of the square leg. When you're in the middle of your bowling spell on a hot day and you run around that fine leg, you do well and he'll get the applause of this packed house. Well, a very good piece of fielding here. Andy Bryant's just been bowling, has to run around straight in front of the Trinity Posse stand. So he obviously doesn't want to miss it there in front of his home fans. Australia, one shy of the half century, but no wickets yet for the West Indies. It's Arthur from the pavilion end. From the Mark War and the 50 up with the boundary. Great shot by Mark War. He's played a cut shot to begin the innings. The first ball went to the boundary and he's brought up the 50 the same way. So four runs to Mark War. He goes to 31, Gilchrist is 21, and the half-century partnership. That's and a very clever shot. Long chase there for Ambrose, the ball is going up. And Ambrose just pulls it back. But they'll come back for three, but a very clever shot. Delayed it. And uh, the classic late cut. Mark Moore again using the pace of the ball. Arthurton making it slightly easier for the batsman to do that. And even more happy now. That's gone all the way. Magnificent straight hit by Mark Waugh. The Australian batsman will be 
aware of the fact that Brian Lara is resting quite heavily on his slow bowlers today with only Andy Bryan and Kirtley Ambrose bowling medium quick. In the air, back goes Cooper. He's got the stand in his eyes and he won't take it. That was a horrible swirling catch. The sun was right in his eyes. He's looking straight up. And he never got close to it. I, uh, I appreciate the, the variables involved in this one. But I think Nehemiah Perry and Brian Lara and perhaps the rest of the West Indian team have every right to be very disappointed with Carl Hooper there. He never even looked like getting close to that. Australians turning the scoring over quite well at the moment. And again, another single to Mark War, And that brings up his 50. Off 68 deliveries, which is uh, not bad at the top of the order. Tipped away behind square leg. Mark Wall will look to bring up the 100, and he does. So a good piece of running by the Australians and a good partnership by Australia. Coming up in the 24th over with a relatively slow start by Australia, but they really have skipped away in the last 10 overs or so. Good piece of fielding by Adams and chance to run out and great piece of fielding by Jimmy Adams. It went to his right hand side, it spun away from him, he picked it up in his left hand and he threw it and Mark War has been run out and run out by an outstanding piece of fielding by Adams. Brilliant at that good point. This is a very good blow here for the West Indies. Mark War brilliantly run out by Jimmy Adams, look at this start pick up and throw right over the top, perhaps a bit high if you want to be critical, but Nehemiah Perry did the rest. Out by a full yard. No hesitation there between Mark Waugh and Damien Martin, but out by a long way. It's 128 for three.